to get on a Higgins boat and take a tour. So the Higgins boats were a very important piece of World War II. They were used to transfer troops in amphibious invasions, and such use was in D-Day. So they were, about to, they were able to carry 36 troops, and they had a driver, an engineer, and two gunners that would man the machine guns. And so most of the boat was wood, except for the sides and the ramp, just to conserve metal for other resources and all that. But from a long distance, the raft was pretty much bulletproof, but when they got closer, it wasn't real. It was able to penetrate it. So let's go. so on and so on until they got to the Rhineland. So it was very important. So the Allies attacked. They had planned five beaches called Juno, Sword, Gold, Utah, and Omaha Beach that the, two Amer that the Americans would take Omaha and Utah while the Canadians took Juno and the British took Gold and Sword. So the night before the attack on June 6th, on June 5th, the American paratroopers jumped over and to uh, occupied France, and about 15,000 of them, and they pretty much caused chaos. They pulled railroads, cut wires, and it was pretty much chaos for the Germans. So that's why the Allies were able to see, they were able to uh, successfully land on the beaches, because the Germans weren't able to send in reinforcements. And also a really smart tactic that they did was they made the Germans think that they were going to attack at Pate de Calais, well, when they were really going to attack at Oh, Normandy. So what they did was they they made blow up tanks and jeeps and all that and they had they so when German planes would fly over and just to see what they're up to they would think that they're attacking here but in reality they had everything else moved to somewhere else that so they would be ready for the attack. The actual real 2816 boat uh, foundered on the beach at Omaha. She took an 88 right through the side. See where that broom is? So there was a hole about this big through the hull, and the shell went right through, and it hit so hard it knocked the boat completely over. So uh, we found a picture of her on the beach, and to honor those guys who didn't make it off the beach that day, we, we numbered her as the 16 boat from the Charles Carroll. How much were they used? They used every available round to try and help the guys on the beach. Yeah, and they did a little bit of that, but there weren't too many German planes that day, thankfully. So the guys usually spent all of the ammunition trying to help the guys on the beach. First couple, couple uh, landings, you know, once they had the beachhead secured, you know, they stripped the guns off, filled the gun tubs up full of supplies. Is there anything they could do to get ammunition from the boys on the beach? Yeah, the Germans were completely stunned at how much equipment and how many troops we got on shore in one day. They couldn't believe it. Thank you. 
German soldier during D-Day. Imagine seeing all these battleships at sea, and then minutes later, thousands of U.S. troops are coming at you. It'd be pretty scary. defense is the only thing to cover you between you and the Germans. were planned to land onto the beach to support the troops incoming, but out of those 29, only two tanks reached the beaches. And as you can see, these are different variations of the Sherman tank. the 
end of this video, the D-Day Memorial. This is it's a three-day event. There's a giant D-Day reenactment. There's a couple of paratroopers versus Veramark reenactments. Uh, there's a couple of vendors and stations they can come check out. It's and all in all, it's really awesome. But I just wanted to say thank you for all the Ally soldiers who won, who took the time to sacrifice so many and fight for our freedoms. And there's not that many veterans left. And I just want to say. Thank you for fighting for our freedom. And if you see one, make sure to thank them. So guys, this is about things. If you guys did enjoy, please like and please subscribe. Thank you guys, and we'll see you all in the next time. Bye!